Hi there, it's uh, Simon from JumaInformation.com. Um, this is the second video in a series of tutorials that I'm doing for Artistier. Um, the first one that I did was um, looking at the Home tab, um, how to open up um, a template so that you can start your design. So we looked at uh, the fact that um, you had some quite nice templates that you could start with. And then you can come in and customize those templates and make them unique to your site. For this very short tutorial, I'm going to take you through the Edit tab. So you can see here I've got a site in front of me called um, thebaconlovers.com. Okay, it's for all those people who love bacon. So if you like bacon, go over there and buy some bacon products. Um, so looking at the um, layout here, what we've got is we've got the home page, which tends to be more complex than the other pages. So they're laid out in um, cells. So you can see here you've got columns and cells. And then normally you'd have um, three other pages created for you, uh, which are more simpler in layout. Now that's the way I like it. You may want to come into each of these pages and change them. So it's really up to you. But let me just show you the functionality. So on the front page then we've got a header uh, and we've got here as you can see as I put my mouse over each of the columns um, we've got um, areas where we can put our content. Um, on each of the cells you'll see when you run your mouse over the cell you'll see at the top here you'll get these little drop down um, boxes. If I click on one of them it then gives you the different options for each of the cell. So you can go there, you can change the fill, you can change the text colour, you can change the border, the radius and then down the bottom if you click on the cell options you can see over here on the right hand side you get this new panel mode that displays and that gives you all the extra information here that you can then go in there and really tweak those um, cells. The other thing you can do is you can select one of the cells and you can also go to the button along the top here and select HTML. So those of you who know how to code in HTML you can come in here and you can actually start to change the information from an HTML point of view. You'll also find at the bottom here it says edit whole article HTML. So that means that if you click on that one, what it'll do is it'll show you the whole page from top to bottom, which means you can edit all of the HTML um, for the whole page rather than just each section. So it's literally up to you. So looking at the top here, then what we've got, if we select one of the cells, we've got um, very much like a word setup. We've got our heading um, and font size, the colors, whether it's bold, underlined, what color the font is. Coming across here, you've then got your content layout. Um, this allows you then to change how many columns uh, you have on the front page. So at the moment, I've got a custom one here. So you can see I've got four um, little cells along the top and three along the bottom. Um, you can set it up however you like. Obviously, if you select one of these, the other thing is it will preview what it's going to look like. So obviously, because I've got content in here, it then changes the look of the front of the page. Um, and then what you'd have to do is you'd have to then go back in there and tweak uh, the information to make it lay out properly. You've got a styling option here, so you can actually change the style of the columns, okay? Um, and then you've got here a hyperlink, so if you want to put a hyperlink on the page, you select the text and put a hyperlink in there. And if you want to insert an image, then yet again, you can select that image option and search either online or from an image on your PC. So you can see here the Edit tab, um, quite... Um, what do we say, configurable, okay, so you've got lots of really good information here, lots of ways of actually laying out the page. So thank you very much for listening to my quick tutorial, uh, and I'll be back with um, looking at one of the other tabs.